Much of southern Ontario woke up to a winter wonderland today after the first major snowstorm of the season. 10 to 15 centimeters of snow fell across the greater Toronto area overnight. Crews worked throughout the day to clear major roads and sidewalks, but it was still a tough day for commuters. Provincial police reported close to 500 accidents in just 24 hours. Sean Diager is a road safety specialist and an advanced tactical and winter driving instructor. He's here with me in studio to tell us about some of the best driving practices during the winter season. You know, Sean, thanks for, so much for being here. Thank you. Every year we get snow and every year some folks, not everyone, but some folks panic. They seem to forget how to drive in it. Yeah. So sure. give us some tips if you can. Well, the holy grail for winter driving is to slow down. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're not sure if you're going too fast or too slow. It's always better to slow down a little bit more. And it's always better to go a little too slowly than a little too fast because that one gets expensive. All right. You, we were talking uh, off, uh, off air about winter boots. You clearly saw our interview yeah. in the previous segment. Gentleman was telling us which uh, winter boots to buy, which ones to avoid. You're saying don't get them all together. What's going for, on? For driving, of okay. course not. Uh, they're too big, they're too clunky, and you really lose sensation of what the car's trying to tell you and communicate. And they're often so wide that you don't know which pedal you're pushing on. You could be pushing on all of them. Okay, so don't wear winter boots. Not while when driving. You're in the car, not right. while driving. Take them off. Wear something a little bit more practical, something that's snug around the, you know, the foot and with a thinner sole. You've okay. got a heater in your car. Your feet won't get cold. <laughs> what else can drivers do to prevent accidents? It's really about avoiding accidents. It's people. all about, yeah, I mean, crashes and collisions is the key term there, not so much yeah. accidents, because it's all avoidable. Uh, winter tires are a huge one uh, because they're designed for winter, and it's not so much about uh, snow anymore. It's about winter conditions, which just means it's even cold and dry. They're going to give you a lot more grip. So that's definitely worth a lot more than they cost. Let's talk a little bit about black ice. Yes. It's, you can't see it. We get it every year. Like you said, you know, winter yep. hits Canada every year. Unfortunately, fortunately, however you want to take that. How do you deal with that? Uh, speed is definitely an issue with that one because it's just like one kilometer an hour can be the difference between gripping and slipping. A lot of people say you can't see it, but you can recognize the conditions for it. Uh, say the temperature just a few degrees below freezing or just a few degrees above it. Uh, general rule of thumb, if the road looks wet, it's either going to be wet, not a huge deal, but it could be black ice. I would rather you always look for a wet road before you get there and assume that's going to be black ice. I need to slow right down for it now. Instead of assuming it's just water, get into trouble upside down on your roof going, oh, I guess that was black ice. You know, when we got snow uh, Sunday, I believe it was, I'm guilty of this. I don't keep that required space, I know, mm -hmm. uh, you know behind the, the car in front of me. I got lucky. I, I just almost kissed the, the person's bumper uh, in front of me, but I, I missed it, thank goodness. Give us some tips on there in terms of how far of a distance you really need to be keeping behind the, That's a tough the car one. The, yeah, uh, it is, it's right? Whatever you think is normal, is probably too close anyway. Drivers are notorious for following too closely. So when you think you're following far enough back, in perfect conditions, you're still too close, way too close. In uh, poor conditions like we had on Sunday and Monday morning, you'll want to increase that normal by at least 15 times more than what it was. Okay, right. 15 times. At least. So you want to be hundreds of meters away from people, not tens of feet. Okay, and it's all about safety at the end of the day. So for yeah. our viewers who are watching, we hope they're heeding your advice. Sean DeYager, thank you so much. My pleasure.